Good morning, Gear 6, and welcome to today's maths lesson where we are looking at ratios. Now then, what is a ratio? Well, a ratio shows how much of one thing there is compared to another. Now, ratios are usually written in the form A colon B, or A colon B colon C. So, for example, if I had a fruit bowl with six oranges and two apples, there are six oranges to every two apples. Okay, that's a ratio of 6 to 2. Now then, we are going to be looking at simplifying ratios first. Now, when we simplify ratios, they're very similar to fractions. I'm looking for common factors. So the ratio of 6 to 2, like I've just had with my oranges and apples, okay? Ratio of 6 to 2, the common factor of 6 and 2, the common factor there is actually 2. So I can divide both of them by 2. So that's 3 to 1. I have simplified my ratio. 15 to 20, what are the common factors of 15 and 20? Well, 5. So I can divide them both by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the ratio of 15 to 20 can be simplified to 3 to 4. And the ratio of 200 to 600, well, you might be able to do this mentally, or you could break it down into steps. First of all, uh, I know straight away that common factor of this is 100. So I'm going to divide them both by 100. So 200 divided by 100 is 2. 600 divided by 100 is 6. Hold on, it goes further again. They still have common factors. So I can divide them both by 2 again, which gives me 1 to 3. Okay? So 200 to 600, simplified ratio is 1 to 3. Now that that's simplifying done, let's have a look at sharing the total. So if I, this is if I've got a total amount and I need to share it into a ratio. So the question I've got here is Akira and Benny share 60 sweets in the ratio of 2 to 3. So these are Akira's and Benny. So for every 2 that Akira gets, Benny gets 3. How many do they get each? Now I could go right, okay, Akira gets 2, Benny gets 3, that's 5. Akira gets another 2, that's 4. Benny gets another 3, that's 6, that's 10 in total. And I can keep going until I get to 60. But when I'm working with big numbers, that's going to become quite problematic quite quickly. So I need to use my math to help me. And all we need to do is we need to break it down into steps. So I've got the ratio of 2 to 3. So I need to work out how many parts I have. Total parts. Well, to find the total amount of parts, I just add my ratio, 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So I've got 5 parts here. I now need to share my objects or whatever I'm sharing between my total parts. I need to find one part. So one part would equal to the total number, which in this case is 60. That's 60. Uh, divided by the number of parts. Well, I've got five parts. So it's 60 divided by five in this case, which is equal to 12. So one part of this is equal to 12. Now, Akira... He gets two parts, and Benny, he gets three parts. So therefore, Akira gets two parts, and each part is worth 12. So Akira gets 24. Benny, well, he gets three parts. Again, each part is worth 12. So that is equal to 36. So therefore, I now know that Akira would get 24 sweets, Benny would get 36 sweets, and I can check my maths by adding these together to make sure that they equal 60, which they do indeed. Big tick. Let's look at another sharing of the total. So I'm sharing £3,000 in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. Now, this is no different. I do the exact same process. The only difference is I'm going to have an extra thing to work out at the end. So share the ratio... Uh, share £3,000 into the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. So step number 1 is how many parts? Total parts. How many parts do I have? Well, I add my ratio. So that is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is equal to 6. So I've got 6 parts. So I'm sharing £3,000 into 6 parts. So step number 2. Find 1 part the value of one part. So that's going to be £3,000 divided by 6. 
Well, if I know that 30 divided by 6 is 5, 300 divided by 6 is going to be 50, so 3,000 divided by 6 is going to be 500 pounds. Okay, and then step 3 is to work out each ratio independently now. So, the first part is going to be this one here. So it's going to be 1, so let's put 1 part, times by 500. Ah, that's nice and easy. 500. Uh, the second one here, well, that's 2 in this case. I'm just going to make it nice and easy. So it's 2 times 500, which is equal to 1,000. And luckily on this question, the third one is 3 as well. So this is 3 parts. So 3 parts, okay, of 500. So that's 3 times 500 is equal to 1,500. Now there's no names here. I, I don't, I can't give any names and values to split this two. So how I can write this is I can write share 3,000 pounds as the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. That would be 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, and 1,500 pounds. There we go. There is my answer. Solved. So I've done the fairly straightforward ones. I've done simplifying of ratios, nice and straightforward, find the common factors. I've done sharing of the total, which I just break it down to my steps. One, total parts, then find one part, and then multiply if you need to multiply. The other type of question you might get is when you have certain information. So ratio when you are given one quantity, but not the overall total. So maybe you're trying to find out the other parts, or you're trying to find out the whole total. And then, the process is very similar to the last question, but I just need to do a few little extra things. So, in year six, the ratio of boys to girls is two to three, and there are 75 girls. How many boys? So, let's just write this down a little bit clearer. So, the ratio is two to three of boys to girls. Now, I know that this is 75. I don't know how many boys there are, and I don't know the overall total. Okay. So... What I'm going to have to do here is use the information given to me. I know that three parts, because there's my ratio, three parts is equal to 75. So I can then use that to work out one part. So one part is equal to 75 divided by three. Okay, then. I can just do a quick working out here. How many times is three going to 70, uh, three into seven goes into twice with one remainder. 3 into 15 is indeed 5, so it's 25. So one part is equal to 25. Well, that's perfect, because I can now use that to work out the boys. The boys have got two parts. So two parts is going to equal to my 25, because that's one part, times by 2, that's how many parts I'm multiplying by, is equal to 50. Ah, I now know the answer. How many boys are there? There are 50. Boys. There's my answer. 50 boys. If the question asked me what is a total amount of children in year 6, I would then just do 50 plus 75, so would be 125. Now then, here's another question like that. Mr Drummond has organised a trip for a football match for 48 children. The ratio of teachers on the trip to children on the trip is 1 to 4. So for every one teacher, there are four children. Each coach holds 30 passengers. What is the total number of people? So first of all, I need to find out the total number of people. So the ratio is one to four. I don't know my total, so I can't use that to help me. But I do know of children and adults, our teachers, um, that there are 48 children. So I can use that to find out how many adults there will be. So if the four parts is equal to 48, I need to find one part. So to do that, I will do 48 divided by how many parts there are. In this case, there are four parts that equal 48. 48 divided by four is equal to 12. Okay then, so I now know that one part is equal to 12. Well, this is nice and easy because adults only have one part. So it'd be 12 times 1, so that is just 12. So the adults are 12, children are 48. Ah, okay then. I can now add these together to get my total number, which would equal to 60. Where's the total number of people? 
there are 60 people. And you may get a further question that says each coach holds 30 passengers. Uh, okay, so how many coaches are needed? Well, if one coach can hold 30 passengers, that's going to mean that two coaches are needed to hold 60 passengers. Okay, and I've answered both sets of the questions there. So today you are looking at ratios. Uh, the racial worksheets have been sent to your parents or available on Google Drive. Now you'll need to send your work to me as soon as it's finished, but again, definitely before 3 p.m., preferably this morning. There are extension activities on StudyLadder or Sumdog if you want to have a go at those, and we'll be looking at some of these in more detail in our morning maths Skype session. So year six, have a wonderful session, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you, and goodbye.